going to show you guys how to install PS MDT and all of its features. One of the dependencies is PS Dispatch. I made a video on how to install that and I'll leave a link to it in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. And once we're here, we're going to click releases and download the source code zip. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. And then we're going to drag what we downloaded in and clean it up a bit. After that, we're going to go to the server CFG and ensure the resource. Then we'll hit file and save. And we need to run the SQL, so we'll go here and open this. Select it, click open, hit yes, and then execute. And I've already done this, but it should work for you. Next, we'll go back to the resource and take a look at the config. There are a lot of options in the config. Change them if you want. I'm going to leave the first two alone. And if you don't want to use the built-in mugshot feature, you can turn this to false or change it to false. This is for the pictures. I'm going to leave it at one, so it's a front-facing mugshot. Now, the webhook is where the mugshot picture will be uploaded in Discord. So I'll show you how to do that. Just go to Discord, create a channel, and we'll just call it Mugshots. Go to the Edit channel, go to Integrations, and then Create Webhook, New Webhook. Oh, I did it twice. And I'll just call it Mugshots. Then I'll copy the URL. Go back here and paste it. Now there is a clock in feature that shows you players time on duty. And there's also a leaderboard that shows the top players or people that have the most time. So we'll do the same thing where we create a channel. I'll call it clock in. integrations again and create webhook and I'll call this login copy the URL go back and paste the next part is for billing by default is set to true which means fines automatically get removed from players bank if you set it to false this allows players to pay it when they can or they can choose to not pay it now the next part is for the inventory images. I don't use LJ inventory, so I'm going to change it to UB inventory. The next part is for fuel. Legacy fuel is the default for QB core, and I still have that one, so I'm going to change this. And the next part is for SOP links and roster links, which there's a section on the MDT tablet for that. I did make a example one that I'll just copy and then I'll paste the link in here and in here you can do this for each department obviously if you have separate ones and this is just job checks we'll skip that the next part is the impound I'm not going to change this because I haven't gone through and changed my actual impound locations but if you do change it in QB police job you need to change it here as well the next part is for the radar if you use this radar, you can enable it, and if you don't, keep it false. But if you don't use it and you want to use this feature, I did leave a link in the description to where you can download that resource. And the next part is for log perms or who can see the logs. By default, the highest rank, like police chief or EMS chief, is set to 4. If you change your job grades, it'll depend on what you changed it to, so just pick whatever number you wanted to start at. The next part is for the penal code. You can edit the charges as you wish. If you add or remove, just make sure the numbers in the brackets are in numerical order or it will mess things up. And at the end, it's just the vehicle colors. So if you change anything, make sure you hit file and save. And then we'll move on to the next step. Next, I'll be showing you guys how to add a feature that allows players to register weapons themselves. 
and having the inventory images show with the guns. So go back to your resources, go into the QB folder, and locate QB target. Then we're going to open the init.lua. Scroll down to circle zones. And I did attach a snippet of code in the description, so copy that and paste it here. Then we'll hit file and save. Then we're going to go back to the QB folder and locate QB inventory. Open the server and then open main. Right, once we're going to go back to the resource and copy the snippet, it'll be this one here. Then we're going to go back to the main section and find line 2112. Okay, and then we'll copy from 2112 to 2148 and hit paste, and then we'll hit file and save. And next we're going to be adding citations as items, so we'll go back to the QB folder, find QB core, shared, and open the items.lua. Then we'll go back to the GitHub. and copy this here and you can put it anywhere you want I'm just going to put it in a random spot then we'll hit file and save then we'll go back to QB inventory HTML and then open the app JS All right, from here, we'll go back to the GitHub and copy this section here. Then we're going to control F and look for marked bills. We'll just hit enter right above it and then paste what we copied. Then we'll hit file and save. Now the next part is where we enable features for the radar. So if you chose not to enable the use of the radar in the config, you can skip this, start your server and test it out. So if you stayed for the radar features, the next part will be for traffic stop alerts using the radio menu. So we'll go to our QB folder, find QB radio menu, and open the config. Once you're here, scroll down to you see the job interaction section. And keep scrolling until you see police. Now, I did attach a snippet of code in the description for this part, so go ahead and copy that. And then I'm just going to hit enter above this one and hit paste. And then we'll clean it up a little bit. And we'll hit file and save. Okay, so next we'll go to the radar resource and open the client platereader.lua. Then we'll find line 228, so right above here. Then we'll go to GitHub and copy the code here. And then we'll paste it. Then we'll find line 246, or 256, sorry, here. We'll go back to GitHub, copy this part and then paste it here and then we'll hit file and save alright I am back in the server and I do have the police job so to open the MDT you can type slash MDT or you can set a keybind for it so go to settings go to key bindings 5m and then scroll down until you see open police MDT and I have it set to L and I'll check the roster, which came out fine. So now I'm just gonna go through some of the features and show them to you. All right, so on the dashboard, it does show me on duty.
and I just changed my call sign so I'll go to profiles and look myself up and it shows no convictions if I have licenses or not I'll give myself a driver's license and if you click here it'll tell you that they have a clean record so then I'll go down to incidents and I'll make a new one and add myself and then I'll just add a charge. You can also search. So if I wanted to search for harassment, there it is. There's speeding. There they are. And then we'll just type like that. And I'll select warrant. Save it. And now if I go to look myself up again, it displays my active warrant. And then again, if I go back to the incident, I can find, and it shows money has been removed from my balance, and I can do jail. Not with this charge, so I'll add another one because there's no jail time do harassment so then my mugshot gets taken obviously I had the tablet out and I'm sent to jail that's pretty loud and then if I go to the discord there's the mugshot alright so I'm fresh out of jail um, so I go back to incidents and if you ever want to remove charges, just search the one you want to remove. So I'll search second degree speeding. And then I'll right click it and it's gone. And then we'll hit save. And now I'm going to show you the weapon registration. So we'll throw it out here, register my weapon. And it was added to the database. So I'll go in here, go to weapons. And then type in SNS shows the serial number and me in the picture which is a little zoomed in same with the Walther shows the serial number and the owner which is me next I'm going to show you guys the plate features so basically the plate feature alerts any officer that comes in contact with the vehicle whose registered owner has a bolo out for them or bolo out for the vehicle or if they don't have a valid driver's license or if they have a worn out and such so, I did park a car over there, I'll just drive past it and you'll see what happens. So obviously I got alerted, it's telling me exactly why, no driver's license. It tells you the plate and tells you the owner and it also locks the plate on the plate reader. There's also a traffic stop feature to where I can toggle it in the radio menu and it'll send a ping out. And that is it for the video. Obviously, I didn't cover everything, so if you've never used the MDT, just try to explore it, play around with it. If this helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. And if you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching.